in our last video we discussed the war for bangladesh liberation in this video we are going to discuss the shimla agreement between india and pakistan which was signed right after the war let us first see how the talks were initiated and what were the reactions after the treaty was signed in pakistan yahya khan had resigned and zulfikar ali bhutto stepped in to take his place Bhutto told the former British Prime Minister Sir Alec Douglas Home that he was keen to forge an entirely new relationship with India beginning with a summit meeting with Mrs Gandhi the message was passed on with the advice that in view of Pakistan's wounded pride the invitation should come from India the journalist Mazhar Ali Khan editor of Dawn told his fellow ex-communist the Indian Sajid Zaheer that bhutto was honestly trying to forget the past new delhi should work to strengthen his hand otherwise the army and the religious right would gang up to remove him an outcome that would be disastrous for both india and pakistan zaheer and khan had worked together in pre partition days as fellow activist of student federation of india now encouraged by their former fellow traveler p n haskar they met in london in the third week of march 1972 to discuss the terms of a possible agreement between their two national leaders khan reported on these talks directly to bhutto while zaheer conveyed them via p n haskar to mrs gandhi the pakistani president was invited for a summit to be held in the old imperial summer capital of shimla in the last week of june 1972 the indians wanted a comprehensive treaty to settle all outstanding problems including kashmir while the pakistan is preferred a piecemeal approach at a private meeting bhutto told mrs gandhi that he could not go back to his people empty handed the pakistan is bargained hard the indians wanted a no war pact they had to settle for a mutual renunciation of force the indians asked for a treaty what they finally got was an agreement india said that they could wait for more propitious moment to solve the kashmir dispute but asked for an agreement that the line of control shall be respected by both sides but to successfully pass the caveat without prejudice to the recognized position of either side bhutto had apparently assured mrs gandhi that once his position was more secure he would persuade his people to accept conversion of the line of control into the international board on july 2 1972 indian prime minister indira gandhi and pakistani president zulfikar ali bhutto signed the shimla treaty which contained the principles which should govern future relations between both countries the ink had hardly dried on shimla agreement when bhutto reneged on his promise on 14 july he spoke for 3 hours in the national assembly of pakistan his text covering 69 pages of closely printed full scrap paper he blamed mujib yahya and everyone but himself for the unfortunate and tragic separation of east pakistan then he came to the topic that still divided pakistan and india the future of jammu and kashmir he offered the solemn commitment of the people of pakistan that if tomorrow the people of kashmir start a freedom movement if tomorrow sheikh abdullah or maulvi farooq or other start people's movement we will be with them there was widespread displeasure in india after the signing of the treaty atal bihari vajpayee then leader of bharatiya jansangh called it a sell out vajpayee said that pakistan's agreement to not use force was of no consequences since pakistan had made similar promises in the past as well but never adhered to them the justification indira gandhi offered to the parliament in july 1972 for signing the shimla declaration was significant she said all i know is that i must fight for peace and i must take those steps which will lead us to peace the time has come when asia must wake up to its destiny must wake up to the real needs of its people must stop fighting amongst ourselves 
no matter what our previous quarrels, no matter what the previous hatred and bitterness, the time has come today when we must bury the past. Let us now discuss the clauses in the Shimla Agreement. India agreed to return the Pakistani territory it had occupied, except some strategic points in Kashmir, notably in Kargil sector, which were necessary to safeguard the strategic road links between Srinagar and Leh in Ladakh. In return, Pakistan agreed to respect the existing line of control in Kashmir and undertook not to alter it unilaterally by force or threat of force. The two countries also agreed to settle all their disputes through bilateral negotiations without any outside mediation by the UN or any other power. India also agreed to return the prisoners of war to Pakistan, but this was to be contingent upon Bangladesh-Pakistan agreement. This occurred the next year when Pakistan recognized Bangladesh in August 1973. In order to restore and normalize relations between the two countries step by step, it was agreed that steps shall be taken to resume communications, postal, telegraphic, sea, land, including border posts and air links, including overflights. Appropriate steps shall be taken to promote travel facilities for the nationals of the other country. Trade and cooperation in economic and other agreed fields shall be resumed as far as possible. Exchange in these fields of science and culture shall be promoted. After the Bangladesh Liberation War, Indira Gandhi was at the height of her popularity. It was said that Indira is India and India is Indira. But this was going to be changed drastically in next three years. In our next video, we will discuss how Indira Gandhi's popularity declined from Zenith to Nadir. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, share and comment because discussion is solution. For more discussions, please subscribe our channel.